off. Anyways, uh, this next person, very funny, a good friend of mine. He is one of my friends. Uh, I'd, only he'll get that. Uh, but he is very funny. His name is Joshua Saucier. Welcome to the stage, everybody. I'm not going to lie, Clay, I didn't get it either. So, thank you guys, I know it's late. I know a lot of you have been here all night, I know I've been here all night. Um, it's, hard to, it's hard to do comedy this late. You guys are tired, I'm tired. If I fall asleep up here, somebody just fucking nudge me. Um, but I, I like going later in the night, and it's because I have a strategy to get everyone paying attention. Um, during a lot of comedian sets, if people go outside, they smoke a cigarette, they go in that little room, they smoke a cigarette. Um, I don't smoke, but I've stolen all your lighters, so uh, you can watch my set, laugh, and then come to me afterwards and I'll give it back. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't talk about like, my relationship status very often, um, mostly because uh, you, know, you, don't, you don't talk about a no-hitter while it's going on, like, that's bad luck. Um, but I was... Uh, Actually, uh, a couple of weeks ago here, the last uh, Cafe Diem show, I was talking to some of the younger comics, and uh, they were talking about like their relationships and women they've dated. And uh, one of the guys was 20, and he like he dated two women, and wanted to know like, oh, you know, is that weird? And it's like, well, I'm I'm 32, uh, and I have dated since uh, sophomore year of high school. I've dated 17 women. Uh, I don't. I think that's normal. Um, but uh, it was at that point that the biggest whore in Richmond told me I was the biggest whore in Richmond for that. So that was a little ironic. Uh, but I don't, am I wrong? Like 17 women in almost as many years, like that's, is that too high? Is that, that's normal, right? Like, who thinks that's normal by a round of 20s thrown on the stage? <laughs> oh, all right, fine. Apparently I'm a whore. Um, no, but it's, it's not, all right, so the longest relationship I've ever been in was about eight months, which I guess that's that's a little weird for someone my age. But again, by a round of applause, who here is single right now? Woo! Cool. For the record, that means that neither you nor I have ever been in a successful relationship. Ever. <laughs> like, I don't care how much better than me you think you are or who you lived with for six years. It didn't work. You fucked up and wasted time. All right, I don't know if you fucked up, if they fucked up, if somebody died. I just know that you turned to the wrong page and you're a little choose your own adventure. And now you're here with me. So judge not. Uh, and I'm, I don't know, I'm not picky. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm, I like all types of women. I've never, I've never, like, insulted a woman's appearance. I've never made a woman feel fat. I've told a woman she was fat, but I had nothing to do with it, so. Like, I, I'm, you know, you, you, uh, you ma'am, I don't know you, I'd kind of like to sleep with you. Like, it's not, I just would. It's not a judgment on your personality. It's, I'm not, I don't know anything about you at all, except that that guy's going to kick me in the ass later. But that's fine. Like, it's not, people are, oh, you shouldn't objectify women like that. I'm like, it's not objectification, all right? Uh, I, uh, I'm picking one thing. I'm not saying, oh, you're, I only want to sleep with you. I never want to talk to you like that. I want to do all kinds of things, including fuck women. All right? I don't feel objectified uh, when you want me to go to the ballet with you. All right? I, I don't feel like you wanting that one thing I don't want to fucking do, but you really want it. Uh, objective. I thought of that earlier, and it made sense in my head. I promise it did. Um, but, uh, like, I, I don't get it. All right? I know I've never been a woman. Um, and unless my insurance check pays out, I'm never going to be a woman. But the, uh, like, I grew up playing with He-Man, and I don't feel like that gave me weird body issues, okay? That is an unrealistic ideal, and I don't care, so why do you give a shit about Barbie? Like, she's a plastic toy. No one expects you to be a plastic toy. I'd like it if you were a little bit more like a plastic toy, but I'm not expecting it, all right? I'm a realist. Uh, but yeah, I never, I don't look at fucking Captain America and think, I'll never look like that, what's wrong with me? I think, I'll never look like that, what's wrong with that dude? Alright, so why do women have a problem with supermodels? And it's like, 
I can't believe you perpetuate that unrealistic ideal. It's, that's a real human being who looks like that, so it's a little realistic. And don't you have a picture of some werewolf from TV up on your wall? <laughs> All right, that's not fucking cool. Um, but not, I, I know I sound like an asshole, but uh, mostly it's because that made sense earlier and I'm really tired. Uh, but not all of my, my brief relationships have been, have ended because of my, like, some of them were stupid shit I said, like, that one time I convinced a woman for three months that the G-spot was behind her tonsils. <laughs> no, sometimes, like, sometimes they're for stupid shit, like, uh, remember I got in a huge fight with a girlfriend of mine once because, uh, she wanted to, like, start tweeting, she wanted to get on Twitter, and she was picking a screen name. And I told her I didn't care, care where she went to school or how good a team the Kentucky Wildcats are. You can't be KY Kitty on Twitter. I'm not okay with that shit. I'm the asshole. No, but uh, the, the worst, I had uh, one girlfriend. I lived with her for uh, about eight months. Um, and it was all, she had this cat that I fucking hated. And I like cats, I'm a cat person. This was not a cat, this was a fucking demon hellspawn bitch uh, who owned a cat. And she, I swear to God, all right, I have a lot of like scars and scratch marks from cats that I've played with or cats that were a little aggressive. This wasn't a cat I was playing with that would like scratch at my hand or hiss at me. I would wake up in the middle of the night to this cat sitting on my chest trying to remove my eyeball. All right, I hated that thing. Um, I hated it so much. I tried to be reasonable. I was like, look, I understand it's your pet and you love it, but I cannot fucking live with this cat. He will murder me. Uh, and she never got rid of it. Like, she, she, I lost that fight. She wanted to keep the cat. Um, but I felt really, really horrible one day. Uh, I came home from a, a long day at work, uh, and I come in, and she's sitting on the floor, just rocking back and forth in our bedroom, like crying and I, I she's completely hysterical i have no idea what's wrong like i can't understand a word she's saying i just i don't know what to do i just hold her for like an hour uh just rocking there she finally manages to like calm down enough to get the words out that uh her cat this this cat that i hated this cat that i told her every day needed to go and i wouldn't live with uh he had uh he had run out the front door and uh, out into the street uh, where he had been hit by a car and killed um, in a dream that she had 14 hours previously and was not over yet. The real cat uh, was under the couch, terrified because she wouldn't stop hugging him. <sighs> that is not the story of how we broke up, sadly. Uh, although that story is why I spent three days in jail. Yeah. Thank you guys. You've been a lot of fun. Good night. Yeah. Joshua Saucy, everybody. Give it up for him. Come on. Yeah. We're going to the home stretch now. We got four comics left. Maybe five. If I can convince a special someone to have him on stage. He knows what I'm talking about, even though I'm not looking at him. Doesn't matter. This next comic coming up. Uh, another newcomer to the Richmond comedy scene. I think he's very funny. Uh, he's also a friend of mine. His name is Morris Reese. Give it up for him. Hello. Hello, Cafe Dion. Hi, Tony. Tony, say hi to me. Thank you. Happy birthday to my friend Kendall Dorsey. She thought I forgot. I didn't forget. Yeah, mad at me. Fucking all passive aggressive all day. I knew what the, I knew what the problem was. I wanted to say happy birthday on stage. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. I like it here. I like it here a lot. I've been here for I think like six years now, six or seven years. I I think my favorite part about Richmond is the fact that it's a city that strives not to be things like. <laughs> Recently, I saw a headline and it said, Richmond City bumped off America's top 100 most crime-filled cities list. And I was like, that's a much better way of saying Richmond is America's 101st most crime-filled city. It sucks here. It doesn't. 
It is crime filled though. I uh, a couple of years ago I got mugged um, in Carver. I don't know if you guys know where that is, but yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, you guys like Carver? Weird. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I did get mugged there by what I would imagine. I think, I would say it was four 12 to 14 year old kids and they mugged me, they jumped me, they pushed me down to the ground and they kicked me in the head repeatedly. It was terrible, it was a terrible experience in general uh, because uh, while they were mugging me, I panicked and I just kept yelling rape <laughs> the entire time. And it makes me feel bad because if I was an onlooker to that situation, I'd be like, hey man, stop overreacting. Those kids aren't raping you, they're just kicking you in the head repeatedly. <laughs> But they did. They 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 didn't. They did not act. They didn't rape me, obviously. Uh, but they did kick me in the head. They took my things. They were like they were robbing me, and they like went in my pockets and they grabbed my things. But jokes on them because all I had was three dollars, and this was before I upgraded my cell phone. So I just had a flip phone, Nokia, and so there was and there was a leader to their gang. He was about half a person. He's about this tall and he had dreadlocks, and he was holding my Nokia phone, and he was holding my $3, and he was like, is this all you got? And I was like, yeah, man. And he was like, what kind of adult doesn't carry proper ID? And then he threw my telephone and my $3 <laughs> down the street, because he didn't want it. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I was hanging out with my girlfriend in my room together because I have one. It's just cool. And uh, I had to poop. I don't, okay, late claps. Thank you. For pooping. Clap for poop, everyone. Why not? Fuck it. I don't know. Poop's great. <laughs> it's late. It's late. <laughs> when everyone goes crazy for poop. Uh, but. I had to poop, so I got up to go to the bathroom, and she was like, wait, 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 wait. And she cut in front of me, because she was like, I have to go pee. But karma kicked in, and she slipped and fell, and she hit her knee, and she started crying and shit, and I felt really bad. And, uh, but I picked her up. I had to be a good boyfriend, so I picked her up. I picked her up, I put her on the couch, and she was crying. And like, what makes me feel like I might be a bad person is while she was crying and telling me how bad her knee hurt, I just kept farting a little bit at a time <laughs> because I still had to poop. <laughs> Wait, you, know, you guys don't think poop's funny now. You guys are jerks. You led me to believe poop was funny and now it's not funny. Whatever. I don't know. I'm done. Uh, John Thomas is up next. He's funny. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Morris Reese, everybody. Give it up for... Uh... Alright. Next comic coming to the stage. He just got in from New York City. I have not seen him before, but I've heard good things. Give it up for Mr. Nick Constantine. We are now down to our last three comics. If you're thinking about leaving, don't. Three comics left. Uh, this next comic to the stage, I have seen him be hilarious. I have seen him creep out an entire room of people. <laughs> Let's all roll the dice for John Thomas. <laughs> Yay! This room looks like one of, after one of my sets. It does. Hey, John. What look are you going for? The Young Adventures of Lenny Kravitz? No, I was going for Black George Michael. But I know when to stop at the aviators. I know when to stop. Because I got glasses, and that's kind of douchey aviators. Alright. Whew, I got, like, when I wear these clothes, I kind of want to commit crimes. Like, if I see a girl in a hot top, I want to like, just 
go like this. He's like, Ted is it, run away. <laughs> Creepy guy. That's what I want to do. We're like, good luck, run away. Good luck trying to describe it to police. They'll never find me. What is it? Black guy wearing cowboy boots, black jeans, X Men t shirt, mohawk. This Negro is going to be hard to find. God damn it. <laughs> Have you seen any of the black comics come up before? You can't tell any of us apart. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. This is going to be harder to find a Muslim in a Sikh temple. Too soon for Sikh jokes. Hey, uh, I like redheads, so uh, at what point during the movie Brave should I stop masturbating? When the movie ends or when the, mo the theater closes? So you gotta leave. No, I, I have on my fifth orgasm. You cannot stop me, sir. Walk away. Walk away! Hey, uh, that Chick-fil-A thing is crazy! Right? Yeah. Yeah. Chick-fil-A doesn't want gays to get married. What's next? Jack in the Box doesn't want you to come on the tits. <laughs> That's a cream pie joke, sir. Come on. Get in line here. Come on. Hey, hey Jack and hey, Mr. Jack or Box, uh, whatever your name is, uh, can I come on the t Can I come on your belly button? No, you cannot come on the belly button. That's a shitty Bane impression. I should never try to do impressions. It's not what I do. It's not what I do. Speaking of Batman, all right, let's do this one. Hey, did you guys see that new Batman movie? No. What's the fuck wrong with you? What are you doing? It's been out for like a month. You got other things to do? You can download it for free. No, wait, no, you can't. No, fuck. And anyway, anyway. Ugh. That movie was unbelievable, right? Unbelievable in the fact that Aaron Eckhart and Christian Bale will want to fuck Maggie Gyllenhaal. These two guys are fighting over this bitch? Really? Hey, you know what I like in a girl? A girl looks like... Oh, God damn it. Uh, droopy dog. God damn it. Huckleberry Hound. <laughs> I always forget, Huckleberry, what the fuck is that called? Huckleberry Hound, yeah, there it is. I want a girl who looks like she got hit by the toxic waste in Robocop 1. <laughs> Harvey! Harvey Bruce! Am I drooling down my soft palate? On my weak chin? How about, hey, Chris Manola, how about you take a page out of the Michael Bay playbook and just put some hot tits in there who says three things. Protagonist name, antagonist name. Ah! And that's it. Thank you. That movie would be way much better, way, be totally better if instead of Maggie Gyllenhaal, they just replaced her with Jake Gyllenhaal and just never addressed it. Just him in a dress, weird. Uh, beard, five o'clock shadow, messy hair. This is, you know, doing this Jake Gyllenhaal thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's my first one, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Cause I, I kind of feel like in Michael Bay movies, I can kind of like I can get I can't get those girls, but Maggie Gyllenhaal. I mean, I got another like one Bonnie Bear song. I could probably get finger breaking in the parking lot, couldn't I? <laughs> What's my time, Clay? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Okay. Uh, I was not prepared for that. 30 seconds for a quick one? Kill it? I can kill it. You think I can kill anything? You really think I can kill anything? I mean, I'll look it, but, you know, up to the glasses. Quick joke. I don't have a quick joke. Uh, 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 uh. I don't got shit, sober. <laughs> All right. Uh, that'll be my time then, because I got nothing. John Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, keep that round of applause going while I check the list, because I totally fucking forgot the name of the next person. All right. 
All right. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Anybody who's left is clearly still here for comedy because no one would be sitting at the bar for this long. If they, if, they, if they didn't like comedy, they would not, you wouldn't, you wouldn't still be sitting there being like, oh, I'm going to keep listening because there's, there's this, like maybe, maybe they're going to, I'm pretty sure they're going to start playing music soon. Like you would, like you would have figured it out at this point that that's not going to happen. But we all do love comedy and fuck. Was it Brian? Brandon. Brandon. Okay. Next person coming to the stage. Everyone, lovers of comedy, pay attention. We only have two left for tonight. Next up is Brandon McPherson. Give it up for him. God damn it. All right, I feel bad because you have been the most awesome comic, sitting up front, supporting everyone, getting shunned to last place. Um... Something that you want me to say? He's moving to South Carolina soon. Yes, I am. That's a bummer because <laughs> we need. Well, you can. Yeah, you can explain that. Uh, it's uh, John Webb. Everyone, pay attention. This is the last comedy you get to see tonight. So fucking listen up. Woo! The Jesus. 